<laughs> this is Wade Mack, we're here with NFL in London with Neil Reynolds. NFL, how's it going? Yeah, good, good. Having a fun out there on the stage and it's a little bit cold. I got my cup of tea though. You, you how much tea? English is that? It smells like Bailey's it's and Scott. How you guys drink it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a, like Anchorman. A wee dram in there. Yeah, <laughs> Warm the cockles. Uh, so, what's been your favorite part of this weekend? Uh, I think this, when you get up there on your stage, you know, you've seen that, you've experienced it as well. You see all those jerseys. Um, you know, it's, it's real fun to be up there, but standing next to Tom Brady, it doesn't get much better than that. Gronkowski almost breaking the stage as well, spiking the microphone. Yeah, it's, it's good. So it's quite the energy. We got two games next year. How did this come about? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I think it's just a further sort of testing of this UK market. I think they see this being uh, such an important place to grow the NFL. Uh, so they want to test it further. They know they can sell out one game. Uh, they want to try and sell out two. So it's great. Great for us fans. I, I've got this idea, and I, I want to get your thoughts on this. <clears throat> what if for the Johnny NFL... Biscuits. What's that? I do Johnny not. Biscuits. I've got a beer. Oh, okay. That, that's oh, like a biscuit. I thought, you, I thought you'd had that one. Barley? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're drunk in the afternoon. Uh, what do you think of this is the idea? That it... For, just like Major League Baseball did with Grapefruit League, bring it down to Florida. What if the preseason, if we were to do like eight teams coming over to the UK, and we did it in the UK, and that they could play across Edinburgh, Birmingham, London, that we get it there, at least be able to build it on a grassroots level? Certainly would spread the the game. You know, from the, I like the idea of taking it around the country, and it certainly more games the better. But I wonder about exhibition games. You know, I mean, exhibition games are a turnoff in the United States. I think we had them here, and I think we've moved past that. So I think what we like about this is that we get regular season games. But it's something, though, to take over the month of August when it's technically a month that everyone doesn't work anyway. People yeah. festival, they do all these things, and it could be a part of it where it's, this game sells out, but we know it's how difficult it is to get a full game here every year. Yeah, it is. You have to find those teams that want to come over. We understand that. But um, look, I'm for more football. If you make it happen, I'll be there. But I'm not, I'm not so sure that's the way the NFL are looking. I think they're just going to continue to test with regular season games. What, what, now, the other thing going on now, I think with a lot of the older players talking about head injuries and a lot of the problems that have gone on and a lot of you know the kickoff rules changing, do you find the game that it needs to be adjusted because there's a lot more violence or a lot more injuries? Or do you think that people are just bitching a bit more? Uh, I, <clears throat> I think what we love about this sport is the hitting and the, the big plays, you know, in equal measure. It's not just about the, the, the touchdowns, uh, it's about tackles as well. So I say, you don't change this game too much. All you do is you try and look after the players better, better equipment, um, better treatment of concussions, but there's only so much you can change the rules of this game before you change it completely. You don't want to make it basketball on grass. Uh, predictions for the, the game uh, on Sunday, what is your prediction? Uh, I think the Patriots by seven, but I think it's to be com a close competitive game and then Tom Brady will be the difference and he'll pull away towards the end. What, what do you got to think too about the, the Patriots? They've been scored on a lot. Their secondary, while they're good against the rush, their secondary has been open. There's been a lot of opportunities for people to take advantage of, including Sanchez, who right. is dirty Sanchez, who just seems to score. What do you, you got to say about that in terms of uh, what Bradford has to do? Bradford needs to stretch the field, and they need to do that. I think Chris Givens, their rookie wide receiver, he's a real speed, so he could be the guy to do that. So no doubt everyone's been able to take advantage of that secondary. Steven Jackson has been the man in St. Louis for a long, long time. Offensively, tomorrow, if they're going to win, they've got to do it through the air. One last uh, question I want to ask you. One game that Ryan and I have talked quite a bit about. Uh, the uh, Atlanta Falcons undefeated, the only undefeated team, yeah. playing Philadelphia. Philadelphia's favored by two and a half. You and I talked about this. What are your sort of thoughts in this game about Vic, about how Philadelphia is playing, about the hype that they've been going through? I think Vic's running out of time. I think Michael Vick is running out of time now. I think Andy Reid uh, is on the hot seat. I think there's a chance that... Um, there's a chance that you know this could be his final year. So the pressure is on the Eagles right now. You're watching the NFL on London and this tea's brilliant.